Welcome back everybody to another episode of Backcountry Bartender. Tonight we're going to focus on a chili liqueur, ancho raised chili liqueur. We're going to make a spicy old fashioned and we're going to make a spicy margarita. So this is a liqueur that is 40% alcohol by volume. It's made from ancho chilies. They use that and they infuse it with a, a bunch of other spices. It says cinnamon and cocoa on the back. I've never actually had it before. Uh, I've seen it in a couple of cocktail recipes. I always thought it looked interesting and I wanted to give it a try. I like the ability to add a little bit of spice to a drink. It makes it a little bit more complex and interesting, especially for something like the margarita, which is a delicious, delicious cocktail. Before I make anything tonight, I figured we just give it, you know, a taste straight up and see how, see how it tastes and then we'll go from there. So I'm going to grab a, I think this is a scotch glass. I like to call it a scotch glass. I drink scotch out of it. So this is my scotch glass. So this is made in Mexico. It's imported by the same company that makes Campari. So you can, yeah, it's definitely spicy. It's like, I mean, it's liquor, but it's, it burned my eyes when I just breathed into it right there. So it's a liqueur, it's 40% alcohol per volume. So it's not like it's, you know, something shy like a Bailey's. It's gonna be, it's gonna give you some heat, but yeah, let's try it out. Whoa, yeah. It, it's sweeter than I thought it was gonna be. It's actually pretty sweet. So you don't get much heat um, until that sweetness starts to go away. A little bit of cinnamon, definitely, and then immediately chili peppers. And if you've ever had ancho chilies before, they're definitely spicy. Um, and that's, that's lingering right now in my mouth, but it's not too much, it's, it's actually, Pretty perfect, honestly. Smooth, real smooth. Spicy and smooth. El Original Ancho Reyes. So we're gonna start with the old fashioned. You need your old fashioned glass, which I have right here, lovely. We're gonna take our mixer, yes, I know that an old fashioned is usually made in a mixing glass, not a shaker. Um, but we're using a shaker. You want one big cube for your glass. And then you want to put some ice into your mixing glass. So let's go through our ingredients. It's an old fashioned, so you still want to keep the bourbon, but you want to go a one on one bourbon and ancho rays. And in this case, I'm gonna use one ounce of each of them. You want two dashes of your Angostura bitters and you want two dashes of an orange bitters and then about a quarter of an ounce of a simple syrup. A big part about the old fashioned is it has a nice big piece of ice. The longer you let that ice melt into the drink, the more diluted it gets. And it brings out a lot of more flavors that you didn't taste at first. And it makes it a little bit easier to drink, especially if you're not one for very boozy, cocktails. All right, let's start it off. We're going to take one ounce of our Kentucky bourbon whiskey. Pour that right into your mixer. We're going to take one ounce of our Ancho Rays adobo chili liqueur. You can already smell the spice. We're going to pour that straight into the mixing glass, into the shaker. We're going to pour it into the shaker. It's not a mixing glass. We're gonna take our Angostura bitters and we're gonna give two healthy dashes of that in there. Obviously, if you've made a classic old fashioned, you usually make it in the glass and you kind of paint the sugar cube with the Angostura bitters and then you model it up. This is a little different than that and it's a little different of a cocktail and that's okay. If you wanna make it that way, go for it. You just probably use the same ingredients and make it 
right in your glass uh, and use a sugar cube instead of using the simple syrup. But we're gonna make it with simple syrup tonight. And this is a recipe on the Ancho Rays website, so I want to. I'm sticking to. I'm sticking to the the OG Ancho Classic, per the Ancho folks. Quarter of an ounce of simple syrup going in the shaker. I'm gonna put a lid on and give it a shake. Pour it nice and slowly over our big ice cube. Cool it down. squeeze it over the top to express the oils and I'm going to drop it in. I'm going to drop it on the counter first and then I'm going to drop it in. So to do that you want to kind of just pinch it and then wipe it around the edge of the glass and drop it in. Let's give it a taste. First thing you get is a nice big nose full of orange. And then, yeah, that's delicious. It's very smooth. Again, that Antro Rays is, is sweeter than I thought it was gonna be. Honestly, it's, it's not it's not like a dry or very boozy. It's sweet forward and spice after. Nice and sweet, mellow. It's easier to drink than a classic old fashioned. And I'm seeing now why they use a quarter ounce of simple syrup in there, such a small amount. It's because that Antro Rays definitely sweeter already. So there you have it. Rip on the classic, old fashioned, spicy, old fashioned. Okay, the second drink we're gonna be making tonight is a spicy margarita. So you wanna choose your margarita glass. We are going to cut a slice of lime to use to rim our glass so that we can stick our salt to the edge. Now, if you remember from one of my past videos, I used a cayenne pepper salt mix. We're gonna do that again tonight, because I think it'll pair well with the Ancho Rays chili liqueur. Since it's a spicy drink, let's do it. Why not? We have it, we're gonna use it. So once you rim the edge with your lime, you're gonna gingerly tap it in here. Just get a nice amount of salt on the edge. Give it a little tap to shake off the extra. We're gonna put that down there. We're gonna put a little bit of ice in our shaker. We're gonna put a little ice in our glass. That looks good. Okay, let's do a rundown of the ingredients for this drink tonight. We're gonna use one ounce of silver tequila, one ounce of the Ancho Ray's chili liqueur, one ounce of lime juice, and about a half an ounce of agave syrup agave syrup whatever you will whatever you will whatever you suppose those are the things you're going to use for this so we got our icers in the shaker we got our ice in the glass we're ready to go we're going to put one ounce of silver tequila oh baby there's one ounce left in here this is it if i make a mistake i'm going to have to use a fake liqueur and build the drink again and pretend i made everything uh correctly one ounce in the shaker we're gonna do one ounce of the chili liqueur. We'll add that into the shaker. One full ounce of lime juice. I've got some ski goggles up here. Tis the season. Take this. Nice and sloppy, that's good. And then we're gonna take our half ounce of agave. And I'm just gonna put it straight in here and measure. That looks like a half an ounce to me because this sticks pretty well to the inside of your jigger. So why not just put it right into the drink? That's it. Pop the lid, give it a shake. Lime ones we used before. 
before, give it a second purpose. Drop it right in the glass. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Yum. Yep. You get the heat from the salt on the rim. Uh, oh man, that's dangerously easy to drink. A margarita is already dangerously easy to drink. It's smooth, which if you've had a margarita before, usually is very citrusy. This is super, super smooth. Lime, definitely tequila. A little bit of spice, but not bad, honestly. The rim on it is, is perfect. The salt and the heat and the lime, they all cut together really well with the tequila. And uh, it's balanced out with that agave syrup. So that's it. Two classic riffs on cocktails using the Intro Ray's chili liqueur. Thank you everyone for tuning in. I'm used to having this bar full of people uh, and I'm really missing that. And this has been a good stand-in for that. If I can't have you here making your drinks, I can have you afar showing you new recipes that you can make at home. So cheers everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Give the video a thumbs up if you like it. Leave a comment. Feel free to subscribe if you like what you saw. I very much appreciate everybody tuning in. Take care, stay safe. Until next time, cheers. Okay, so let's get started, he says. Let's go, let's go through the, let's go, let's. So we're gonna be making two drinks that are riffed with the Ancho Rays, riffing off some classic. We're gonna be riffing off two cocktails. A riff off the classic margarita. Oh, we all know it's riffs. It's already a pairing with spicy foods to begin with. We're gonna be, we're gonna be. Yeah. Um, and we're gonna do that. Um, a. Spicy margarita! Yay, yeah, yay, yeah, yay! Yeah. Okay, so we got our rim glass. We're ready to go. Close! So let's go. Oh my god. So let's go through. Cheers! And our one ounce line is. What the? F We're gonna cut all this out because it's horrible. Ancho chilies and adobo sauce. Adobo sauce. Adobo sauce. Ancho chilies and adobo sauce.